What's up guys? It's Steve here for Soul Lifts with another video. Uh, you know, often uh, I see a lot of these other fitness channels, they do a what's in my gym bag video. What do I take to the gym? Uh, I actually take a lot to the gym, so I want to show you what's in my gym bag. First of all, I got my shoes. Uh, these are the Adidas Addy Pure Trainers. This is last year's model. I don't know if they still make them. Uh, I like these. They're, they're pretty heavy duty uh, up at the front. Uh, these are the finger toes uh, shoes. They're, they're similar to the, the Vibrams, Vibrams, whatever you call them. they got about a uh, one centimeter thick sole uh, with no rise at the back. Uh, so I like this. It gives me that kind of barefoot feel for when I'm doing deadlifts, uh, squats. I get a lot of stability through the heel, which I don't feel that I get with uh, a, a, a shoe that has a, a more cushiony sole on it. Uh, so, I carry these uh, to the gym. Remember, if you do get a pair of these, they get stinky. They get really, really, really smelly. So, deodorizers uh, in there, if you can, uh, you know, find some uh, powder or Dr. Scholl's or something like that, you can put in there, uh, you know, control the odor. Where there's odors, there's going to be a lot of bacteria. Uh, I can up, keep a water bottle. I like to recycle. Uh, I've got a number of different belts and uh, gloves, <clears throat> so I'll start with just my standard belt. This is uh, just my nylon Everlast Velcro belt. Now a lot of guys prefer leather. I like the Velcro because I can adjust it, you know, to within a centimeter of where I want to be. Uh, it's faster. I just, uh, you know, zap it around my waist. Zap it around my waist and bam, pull it tight and away I go. Uh, so if I'm doing, personally if I do over 100 kilos on say deadlift or bench, I'll wear this. If I'm doing a super heavy bench press, if I'm benching you know, 140 and up, uh, I'll wear the belt uh, just to stabilize my core. <clears throat> this has been a brilliant purchase for me. Uh, this is my dip belt. Uh, I had never been in a gym that had a dip belt, ever. So, when somebody recommended it to me, I had to, to check it out. Uh, this dip belt, I really I can't see any corporate logo on it, so I don't know who manufactures it. I ordered this one off of eBay. Uh, basically, you strap the belt around your waist, you uh, loop the chain through a weight plate, and you clip it on the other side. And uh, basically what this helps me do is weighted chin-ups, uh, weighted pull-ups, uh, calf raises, weighted calf raises off uh, off the edge of a box. Uh, so anything where you're pulling yourself up, uh, this is great. Dips, fantastic for dip station. You want to add a little extra difficulty if you've you know progressed to the point where you can do body weight exercises with pull-ups uh, and dips and chin-ups, and you can do ten or more reps, and it's a, you know it's not a big deal for you. You might want to think about adding some of this for strength. Uh, fantastic buy. Uh, I think I got this off of eBay for. 30, 40, uh, Gloves. I got a variety of gloves. I go through a ton of gloves. But my new favorites, and I picked these up at the local uh, E-Mart, the Superstore, are these. Uh, these are Comalon My Hands. And uh, basically they're work gloves, workers' gloves. And uh, they've got a rubberized palm on them. But that's it. There's no extra strap or support on it, uh, but it's basically just adding a little bit of no slip to your grip, right? They do fit a little small, but they, you know, that's good. They don't slide around too much. I've destroyed this pair pretty much, so uh, I got myself another pair. Uh, these rubberized palms are fantastic if you're doing uh, deadlifts, uh, pull-ups, any kind of pulling, pull day exercise. Uh, you're doing farmer's walk with dumbbells, that kind of thing. It's fantastic. So uh, I really recommend these are about two bucks at uh, the local supermarket, so good buy. Now, I have gone through a bunch of lifting straps. Normally, Universal Nutrition, I love Universal Nutrition, but their lifting straps suck. These are the, uh, the animal lifting straps that I bought after uh, I ripped my Vallejos. Uh, these lasted me maybe four weeks before they ripped. Uh, if you're going to do a lot of heavy shrugs, and I do barbell shrugs, uh, and I do rack deadlifts, 
uh, and, you know, on a bunch of different heavy lifts, especially if I'm lifting, say, double body weight and up with, uh, with deadlifts, I'll put on the straps uh, because, it, you know, just my, my grip fails before the rest of my, my strength does. Uh, these nylon lifting straps just do not do the job past a certain amount of weight. I found that weight to be about 200 kilos. Once you start lifting over 200 kilos, these things start ripping up. So, I went and got uh, some chic leather lifting straps. Uh, there's a, a link in the description for where I order my stuff from. Uh, you know, for, for those of you who live here in Korea, uh, for those of you who uh, live abroad, bodybuilding.com for North American customers is probably your best bet. Uh, this is leather. Uh, it's tough. Uh, it's going to be real hard to rip this. Of course, I may do an update video uh, explaining why I hate leather lifting straps, but uh, in, the, in the meantime, they look pretty good to me. Uh, obviously, I've got some weightlifting gloves. If you're like me, you rip these things up. These are, you know, fully destroyed within uh, a month or two. Uh, so I do use them, especially on push days. Uh, I like to use them. Uh, I used to use them on, on squat days. I don't so much anymore. Uh, I like to go bare hand on the squat days now, uh, but if I'm doing uh, bench presses, dips, that kind of thing, I like to uh, have a little padding in the palm. Uh, other than that, if I'm doing pull days again, I'm using the rubberized grips. Uh, a piece of paper from the body fat machine. And let's see what I've got here. Got a little uh, knee wrap there. Uh, the wife's gloves for when she comes to the gym. You know, obviously. Uh, pink. Uh, gym card. What else we got? Uh, some more gloves. Uh, push day gloves. Pull day gloves. Uh, got some uh, nylon lifting straps in there. I'll probably use these until they bust right up. Uh, but as you can see, you're right there. These Vallejos don't have much left in them. You know, a couple big lifts uh, and, and they'll be dead. So I'll switch over to the leather. Uh, once these are busted up, or uh, use them intermittently. And that's it! That's my whole gym bag, guys. Uh, oh, dog likes it too. Alright, so uh, until next time, keep growing.